Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got the final nine holes of the 2021 Belgian Open presented by Innova Champion Discs. I'm Tony Farrow. I'm Cornelius Farnsworth Farnsworth. This is the final nine edition. Farrow Farnsworth commentary. Final nine. We got some familiar faces from round three. Blyer coming in, minus five. Stanislaus with the hot round, 10 down. Here we got a look at Blyer coming from Iceland, 1,009 rated. Stan looks real happy about that third round. Hot rounds will give you that. Mr. Smooth, Mr. Clean. Feeling good. Roman's back. Roma from Latitude. round two. Let's see how this goes. More disc golf. Starting off with hole one, as we always do. 186 meter par four. Gonna just get this first tee shot out somewhere by this walking path. Give you an open approach. It's about 60 meters. Want to keep that touch under control. A little bit too far past the basket. It has a down slope to an OB into a nice stinky creek. It's also dinky, the creek. But stinky nonetheless. Keep it left, boys. But not too far left. All right, Stanislaus will start us off. He had the hot round, even though Blyer and him are tied. Really leaning into this Anheuser, flexing out, huge drive. Yeah, but you can't Great write shot. it up better than that. All right, Blyer looks like he's got his roller disc again. Came in a little bit too tight, round three. Let's see if he can correct on it. Oh. oh, yeah, that's way wide. He's got a lot of faith in that. Is it flippy enough? Or is it too long? Ooh, watch out, spotters. Oh, that's still rolling. He's going to be extremely happy. Yeah, you, you can't do it better than that. Well corrected from round three. All right, I got my wraith. Looking to flip it over. That's not enough Anheuser. It's just got to sit. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. It's safe. All right. Yes. Happy to be safe. Always happy to be safe. Roman looks like he's also going for an air shot. We got to see him play in round two. Maybe not the biggest arm, but control and consistency is his game, no doubt. A lower approach here. A little tighter line, but he squeaks right underneath the tree branches. He's going to be pretty close to that basket for a uh, birdie attempt. Okay, basically four chances for birdie. You've got the longest approach here. A few nerves, first hole. Bringing it out wide. Nice stable putter. That just held on a little bit too long for the width. And I'll have a big tester putt to start it off. Now Stan's shown a lot of proficiency from this distance. Yeah, that's real close. And continues to do that. And he puts it even closer. That is a park job in the bullseye. Blyer even closer than Stanislaus. You wonder, do you think they practice being this close to the to I the would basket? imagine so. Yeah. I think Blair's rolling it into that gap. I bet he's having eagle putts. Looking for practice. the jump putt eagle. Yeah. And Roma, look at that great shot. Get up there. Ooh, maybe a little bit short. Well, you yeah. and him are going to have some work. It looks like circle's edge for Roma. But birdie putts? Birdie putt nonetheless. 
So you guys have a chance. All right, we got a little bit of crowd building. Roman's up first. Jump oh, putt. No. That is not good. That's towards the OB. Let's see if it's in bounds or not. I didn't see a marker. That was heading towards Stink Creek. Here I am, just about circle's edge. I just didn't get enough lift on it. Never had a chance. Well, I would say the problem for you there was not the putt. It was the shot that created that putt. Yeah, the approach was not the highest of caliber. And Blair's in his range. Uh, not as close as you want to be with that drive, but he capitalizes nonetheless. Happy to take a birdie on the first hole. And Stan, that's a, about as good of a putt as you want on the first hole. We'll tap in. So Roman was safe. He did not go OB on that putt. Not too much damage done. And we'll move on to hole two. Par four, 171 meters. When I get through this tunnel shot, pick left gap or the right gap. OB on the creek on the left. OB on the right is a line dividing the fairway of hole three to hole two. That line will turn into this pathway on the right. You wanna just get your approach as close as you can to the basket. Keep it consistent, keep it on the green. Get that birdie. Like 33% of the players in this final nine found that birdie. Oh, Stan. Turning it over nicely, catching the last limb, unfortunately. He's still going to have an approach. It'll be a little bit longer than he wanted, though. That was a good release, though. He's looking confident. Flyer. Looking to take something off of this one. Uh, just a little bit too hiding through the low ceiling. All right, I got my Wraith, same like round one. Or sorry, hole one. And that was way late. Get a little kick out. I'll have a big approach. Yeah, you wanted that one. I really did. I really did. All right, Roman, what you got? Looks like the cleanest of the bunch. That's great. Nice shot. It seems, is that a conservative landing zone there? Yeah, it's a little bit short, but the positive side is that he's on the left, the basket's on the left, he will be able to see the basket straight on. Unlike me, I am in the mud, and I early released this way too high, and it skipped, and that is in oh, the no. stinky creek. You can say goodbye to that disc. I mean, you'll get the disc back, right? You're just not exactly going to throw it right now. I never got it back. Hmm. It's still in there. If you feel like it, there's a blue halo wraith sitting in that stinky St creek. Stinking it up in there. Roman, tough footing. Handles it pretty well, though. That's going to be in circle two for a birdie. Stan a little bit back, but he's got a wide open approach. Keeps it tight. He's at the circle's edge. It's good, but it's not good. Well said. Nothing special. Blyer, having that bench in the way, saws it off a little bit, catches the first guardian tree. That could be a Blyer specialty, huge jump putt outside of circle two. Yeah, he's been faced with many of those last couple rounds. All right, I got this half between a approach and a jump putt. Just get it up and down, say goodbye to the disc. You thought about it. 
I thought about it, but there's stinging nettle before the creek, and I don't want to fall in there. As if the sewer water wasn't enough. There has to be stinging nettles as well, and a barbed wire fence. Correct. And and snapping turtles. However many times punishment you want to give that, it would be that many times. So, let's see if Stanny can capitalize this. Boom. Good looking putt. Nice birdie. Nose up. Above the cage the whole way. And now he's got a one-stroke lead. Well, he's throwing a lot of composure under pressure. Uh, Blair's clearly one of the top players in Europe now. And he's still getting better. But, he is uh, a young kid. He's got a lot to go on his career. Same with Blyer. All these guys, they've got a long way to go. They're just starting out, and they have a lot of potential. Final nine experience is definitely something that's uh, that he can learn from, I think. That's very true. Hole three. Won't say it enough. This is one of the hardest holes you're ever going to play. Really big tee shot, wide open. But you got to pick a line so you can make it through this tight gap here at the end of the shot. Got to land it softly. Can't have a big skip or a roll. Basket sitting right on the edge of the hill. And the OB is right at the bottom of the hillside behind the basket. A very, very tough par 3. Stan been real strong off the tee. Got the same disc as on hole one. That looks overcooked, though. Yeah, it does. It doesn't stay safe. He doesn't know. We'll check it out when we get there. All right, Blyer, time to capitalize. Get that stroke back. Oh, and he slips again off the tee. Oh, that had That's a huge got effect. No good written all over it. Is it safe? No, no. That much knows up. You can't really ask for anything. That was not the best time to slip on the tee. Not at all. Roman playing with the OB. A good enough result. Yeah, a little overcooked, a little low. But middle of the fairway, it's safe. I don't think he was playing this hole for a two anyway. I am playing this hole for a two. Okay, Tony Farrow for two. That is full gas. And it looked so good. And it got stuck behind the trees. Right directly behind that. It was a great looking drive. And... Man, it's in a bad spot. So there's Stan. He is safe. Just barely. Thank that bush. And that was a very tough approach that he executed perfectly. What an excellent disc golf throw. So much touch on that shot. Roman, same thing. Awesome approach. All right, Blyer. Does he have a line? Can he give this a run? No. Oh, and that's a little bit short. It's a little short, but he's That could be a test confident. with all this pressure on him right now. That could be a tester putt. He's already going to lose a stroke. Uh, yeah. That really was a bad spot. It, it caught some cabbage right on its way out and hit a hill. Oh. And the sorrows and woes from round three continue. Yeah, but a good confident putt. Not short. Online. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm always going to keep fighting. A little low left, but in. Blyer go back to even. 
Roman tapping the par, same with Stanny. And I'll tap in my bogey. All right, this is getting exciting. Two-stroke lead from Stanislaus. And now Roman and I are all tied up. Not to mention what's happening on that chase card. Couple of big, big fighters on that chase card. Hole number six. Hole number four for the final nine. Par three, 131 meters. Slightly uphill, fairway slanting right to left. This is a really tough shot for the right hand backhand. Really need to have angle control on this. Land the disc softly on the ground. All right, Stanny's up first. It's also a pretty common theme with this layout. I'm seeing a lot of these left to right curving drives that are demanded of you guys. Yeah, it's a it's not the easiest shot. It's like a straight throw but full power. And Stan just ties her in out a bit early, but he's safe. It should be just an up and down for an easy par. Oh, Roman, just too low again. Well, Roman definitely of these four players doesn't have as much power, I think. So he's really relying on his technique and placement. Yeah, he might just be trying a bit too hard at this point. Maybe a little bit of jitters. Who knows? Blyer Blyer. just hanging on, staying inbounds. He looked like he was about a half throw from Blair. All right, I'm hoping to get one back here. Bogey, bogey. Never the way you want to go when you're trying to fight. And it's a bit low, but it's a great line. But a good glide. Circle two. Man, you wanted that four meters higher. I sure did. I sure did. Mm. Oh, and that was getting sneaky close to the circle, actually. If it had a couple extra meters on it, like you said, it would have had enough mm-hmm. glide, enough spin. Bromo for the approach. Textbook. Yeah, Caught that a- last tree, but that should be close enough. He's played a lot of disc golf. He's putting those shots, and he's making them look real easy. All right, here I am. Edge of circles two. Look good. It sure did. And then it hyzered out. I wanted it. Yeah, it's frustrating if you miss a few of those, but you're not really expecting to make them. It's a bonus. Yeah, it is a bonus, but you're really hoping for some magic at that point. Well, it's also a round changer. Exactly. You want to try and get things to turn around, get going for you, and... That would be the moment right there. That's a great time to turn it. Great time for Blair to uh, make this. Just a little bit too much Anheuser on that putt. There you go, Roman. Cleaned it up. Yeah, it should be tap-ins for the rest of us. Now Stan's got a real simple putt from from his technique. It's very little movement, but I stress that a lot when I teach putting to people. The putting motion is very small. The rest of it is just your motion, just your kind of how you do the putt. And if you can make it as small of movements as possible, You have the highest probability to make more putts. What about having a checkpoint? Checkpoint's a great spot. Checkpoint right at your center, right before you go to throw. Give it that just half a second just to let your whole body get back into gear and throw that putt. All right, hole nine, par four. This is the fifth hole of the final nine. 172 meter. You got to really hug the forest on the right-hand side with your first shot. 
to keep that tunnel shot open on your second, get up and down, try and get the birdie. This is not the easiest par four. Yeah, coming in under par on the average for this final nine. Now you got the top guys. Yeah. You'd expect them to get this hole. All right, Stan coming with the big Anheuser. We're on the mid range, floating it in. That's, that's in great position. It's just everyone's favorite disc golf shot to watch fly. Full pan out, flex. Great shot. Great panty. From our leader. All right, Roman up next. I believe he's also going for the Anheuser. Looking to pan. Oh, some no, he's got the roller in it. Roll. Oh, and that's hugged real nicely on the right side. Right to the mouth. Beautifully shot. executed shot. That is amazing. Yeah, he's that was got a awesome. well rounded game. Good putter. Looks like a solid roller game. He's got great control and Blair would also throw a roller, drives. I think, when he has the option. Yeah, he's got that flippy disc from hole one. That's definitely a roller. That's got good speed on it. It's coming out. Yeah, that's great position. And yourself? I am also going with the roller. I got a road runner. Yeah, this is uh, every round. Always going with the roller. If I can throw one, I'll go for it. And I really want this birdie right now. Nice snap. Just a little bit too much angle on it. And I went too far. Just a bit. I cut myself off there. That's going to be a tough approach. All right, Stan, he's also a little bit left. This is going to have to be like a flip up, but still fading hyzer. That tight. And that was two inside. Oh, he kicked no. a tree and went OB. Not what you want coming into this back end of the final nine. Flyers looking to capitalize. Well, Stan definitely made the decision to be aggressive. Maybe get another stroke. But it could cost him. This looks much better. Oh, yeah. Great skip. Just outside the bullseye. What a clutch shot. Oh, yeah. All right, here you go. I'm way cut off. From a knee with a mid-range, I'm looking to Anheuser this thing through the gap. I got nothing to lose right now, plus two. Let's go for it. Nice angle on and the landing. Parked. Perfect shot. It was a really technical shot. Sorry to brag, but it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> And Roman, textbook, he's in the circle putting for bird. When you put it to the mouth like that, you had better get it to the basket. Stand for his third shot. Anheuser over the trees. Looking to be a bit short, though. He's going to have to fight for that bogey. Yeah, we could easily see a two-stroke swing here. Oh, no. Well, Just hung on a bit too to long to that We're going to see at putt. least a two-stroke swing here. It's up to what Stan can do. All right, look about seven meters. For bogey. <laughs> Cashed. Big putt. That's the way to hold on. A tie for the lead is still the lead. Exactly. You didn't give it up yet. Roman has that uh, holds up the putter in an Anheuser angle and then puts on a Heiser angle. Macbeth is starting to do that. 
Matt Olrum. A lot of players do this. Huh? Helps keep it flat. It helps to keep the putter flat. Flies longer. All right, birdie for myself and for Blyer. Going on to hole 10. Number six on the final nine. Par four, 165 meters. Really tight tunnel shot out of this gap. Got to at least make it to this pathway here. If not, you're looking at par at best. From this point, you got about 80 meters straight through this tunnel. Need to finish slightly left on an uphill slope. Behind the baskets, got some trouble. Really got to control your touch here. It's like even after a perfectly placed drive, you have a new hole. That's like another drive for that approach. Very easily, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, this played 4.5 uh, for this final nine for the 12 players that are in the finals. Yeah, if you hit early off this tee, you could have three shots just to get out. Uh, yeah, I remember somebody did that round three. Yeah, and Blyer just kicking early on the right-hand side. Not to, looking to be in a good position. I got my mid-range out. Just hoping I'm going to hit the gap this time. Looks good out the hand. Nice shot. You corrected really well from last round. Oh, yeah. I'm sure your thought pattern was not again. <laughs> it's a little left. Not twice in a row. But like I said, I got through the initial gap, and uh, that is great. That was huge. As it looks now, you're in solo third place. But again, we don't know what's happening on the chase card. It's a real tight battle between top card and chase card, I will say. Even from the beginning. Well, Maxim Tang is fighting up. Who else? I believe a Emil Barb. Emil. A couple other names on the chase card. Can't All exactly right, so remember. Two Swiss players playing up in the top five. Here we got Stan and Fairway Driver again. Looking to make that highlight shot. That's the biggest shot of the tournament for him, in my opinion. Came out nice. A little bit too turned over. No kick out. Yeah, we'll have to see if he has a line from there. And like I said, he's still got through the gap, but... He could be on the in the woods over there on the right side. Blyer from tee pad nine. Blair playing some golf. Just pitching back to the fairway. Looking to make the best out of a horrible tee shot. That was a good pitch out. Perfect. And this came out that. so nice. And slid... And he's going to have a putt to what save the What a huge the par. shot after that drive. Take notes huge on that. shot. Take your medicine, pitch back to the fairway, and make the shot happen. That was textbook execution. Well done, Blair. Stan looking like he got not too bad of a kick out. Tough patent pending shot. A little bit early out at the hand. He's going to be in the woods on the left now. Not as comfortable as he would have liked having to go into the patent pending. But, uh... Oh, Roman trying to split the trees. And here I'm a little pinched off. A little bit too far to the left. A little bit too far forward. And Scramble. I had to split the trees as well with the forehand roller. This is not my specialty shot, let's say. So, execution, A plus on my part. Totally happy. And 
<laughs> Roman oh. running it. Dang. Nice throw. Yeah, give some props for that. All right. Well, he's definitely playing like he has nothing to lose. Hey, it's final nine. You got to go yeah. for it. All right, Stan was in some real trouble over on that left and side. And still is. And he just rolled into more trouble. And you with another leaning out forehand. I'm all good with par on this hole. No big deal. Yeah, that second shot did rescue your hole. Does he have an opening? Seems like it. Taking a little extra time. Oh, aggressive. He gave it the go. A little bit too much. No harm done. But yeah, he's right there. No big deal. All right, Blyer to save an amazing par. That's the way you do it. What a it. pro. That's a top pro right there. Mm -hmm. Not many people are going to be able to just pitch out like that with a putt and then still save the par. That was huge. Yeah, what a well-managed round. He's got some pars. He does have a bogey. And Stan keeping it only to a one-stroke swing. Stan two bogeys in a row. Falling into second place. Still got a few holes left. Three this holes is still to a go. battle. One stroke. This is great. Yeah, More disc golf's loving filming this. I mean, it's really coming down to the wire on this one. All right, hole 13. Pretty easy par four. A lot could happen on this hole. We could see some eagles could see some people really pushing for stuff this is the time to do it if you need to make up a stroke or two this is the hole to try and make up a stroke or two got to get through these gaps save yourself a nice easy approach maybe get up there for a jump putt we just got to see how it unfolds but we are pretty sure the last two rounds Blair was jump putting for eagle on this hole you are correct. Okay. Low. Looks to be a bit more conservative than the uh, previous two rounds. Probably because of that lead. He just wants to get through the gap. Get up and down. Get that easy birdie. You in third place. Also with a flipping up inside. Yeah. Just a little bit too late out the hand. And I'll catch an early tree. That's going to be a tough up and down to get the birdie. But not a severe kickoff to the right. So take what you can get. Right you are. Keep it positive. Oh, that's high. Yeah, and the kick left is not the way you want to go. There's a lot more trees on the left side than there is on the right. Further left you go, the slimmer your chances are to even get up and down for that par. Really important shot for Stan. He just needs to get out of the gap. Nothing huge. Destroyer. Good looking shot up. from here. Huge distance, oh, yeah. catching a late tree, but he is way down the fairway. That was the time for that. Great push, Stan. All right. Stan still just looking to get through the gap. Anheuser, hope for as much distance as I can go. Trying a bit too hard. Well, think about this card that we're watching right now we have the Icelandic champion the Austrian champion Swiss champion sorry Roman I don't know 
I don't know where you lay in the French champion yeah. category, but uh, I'm sure Sylvain Gouge has something to say about that. But good showing this tournament, Roman. Respect. Definite, buddy. It was great playing with you. Boy. A little bit low on that approach sidearm. Kind of cut rolled out into the forest on the right side. Let's see if he has a line to the basket from there. Flyer looking to get up and down for an easy birdie. Bit too much hyzer, but he's about four or five meters away. No big deal. Yeah, he's getting out of trouble a lot. That was well executed, his shot. Mm-hmm. The Roman with the nice Roman hand Roman with that touch. That's parked. It just lands and kind of stops where it is. Well, All last right. hole, he almost threw it in from 50 meters. Yeah, just, exactly. Just tossing it up there. Play catch before your rounds, people. Tip. Good tip. Stan, rare forehand again, but he's parked for the birdie. Getting real interesting. So, I debated laying it up. I decided I'm going to go for it. Are you looking at scores at this point? No, I never look at scores. You never look at scores. It's yeah. all about my head feeling. So you what didn't know if Maxime was tied with you or what the situation No clue. Was. And I tried so hard and ripped this thing out right. And now I'm stuck in a weird, weird spot for the par. So you would simply rather not know. The current standings. I guess I just came up that way without having any live scoring or anything like that. And I've always played my game just the way I play it. Maybe if I'm pushing for the lead or if I know I'm having a good round, I'll give it a look. But most of the time I never look. And this, oh, that's a bad angle. But this was the weirdest putt I had all weekend. Bad angle, good putt. Super small hole. You really slammed it in there. Yeah, it was the only way it was going in. Only way. You hammer dogged it in there. Yeah, from three and a half meters. Mm -hmm. It was the toughest three and a half meter putt ever. And Stan tapping in for the birdie, keeping that fight alive. What We're going to head holes? on out. Got That's two true. holes to go. This is real. Hole 17. Par 4, double Mando hole. If you've watched the previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. Make that double Mando. You that do is the, want to do that. That's the most important thing. Very advisable. After that, you're going to see where it ends up. Try to find your gap through multiple trees here down this downhill, slanting right to left fairway. Try to get in somewhere close for that birdie. Hit that double mando. Blyer executed with amazing. That's going to work. Oh. That did not Sorry make about it. That. that missed the mando early left. I was just mentioning how Blyer totally pured the gap last round. Unfortunately, Big not chance. able to copy it. Stan, Stan smelling the blood, getting through the gap. Great shot. What a battle. All right, I'm looking to get a couple birdies to finish out. Got my putter again. That was a little late, and I kicked way left. Not so good. Ouch. So, Roman got a mid-range in his hand. Also, a little late. Also, too far left. <laughs> yes, he hopes he missed the Mando because that far left is nasty. Here I go again with my specialty. Sidearm roller between a bunch of trees through the double mando and around the corner. 
Scramble game on point. Today. All right, the fans liked it. Drives not on point. Scramble game on point. Okay, a little putt through the double mando. Roman taking his medicine. Oh, that looks severely Oof. left. Early release really out early. the hand. That is not good. All right, another shot at the drop zone here. Tight gap on the inside. It's got to flip up a bit more. Perfectly executed. Big time shot from Blair. That's clutch. At the awesome. end of the round, that is clutch. There's my approach. Stand still through all the trees. Catching a root at the end. That's what you got left for par. It's a little bit short. A little bit short. But a par could be important to you. Very true. Stan. Oh. That did not look Early smooth. ricochet. That seemed like a bit too much nerves. Kind of knew the importance of that. And he grip locked it. He's got quite a big gap there. I wouldn't even say... I think it was just a misfire, just bad timing. I mean, the truth is that could cost him the tournament. That was not the right time to do that. It very well could. Blair just slid one under the basket, basically. Yeah. For the know. par. To save the par. And that was Stan to get up and down for the birdie. Now he's got to get up and down from here for the par. But he so this needs is technically the birdie. for birdie. This is for birdie. But this is risky. Great run. What a high skill level putt that would be to make. Oh my gosh. Landing soft like that. Not blown by too far. That's awesome. There you go. Great par save. That was huge. Were you outside of the circle? Just outside. Downhill though, so played a little bit shorter. At what point would you go to a staggered putting style? Yeah, that just depends on the situation. When it's so much undulation in the ground, I like to just stick with a straddle, keep it consistent. Blyer, great par. And bogey for Roman. Going down to the last hole. Really awesome. How many holes did we go through? And it comes down to the last hole. Yeah, hole 18, the number most commentating nine. we've done. It's crazy. 176 meters, mandatory left. OB on this fence line on the right. OB left on one's fairway. You really want to place your drive right in the perfect spot. There's a small landing zone. Blyer, rare forehand. Much better execution than round three. He is in prime position to get up and down for the birdie, putting all the pressure on Stanislaus. Stan has to go for everything here. Stan with the difficult backhand Anheuser. Cut rolls a little bit, but stays safe. Great job. I'm coming out with a Cayman. Overstable approach disc. That came out nice. Big Heiser sidearm. Skip and a roll. Prime position. I think First you time OB I'm in bounce. Oh. First time. Interesting. Every fact. round was like a half meter OB. It was awesome. It's the confidence boost you need at the end of rounds. Roman floating one out. No Anheuser though, but he is safe. In the fairway and safe. Can't ask for too much more. I was awesome. I was playing with him. And we were staying. Alright, let's see if he runs it or not. Looks like he's going for it. Oh, he didn't put the ante on it. Is it going to get down? 
Oh, that's an OB stroke. Now we have some important approach shots coming up. All right, Stan. This is important. A pretty oh. full pull almost. It came out a little flat, though. It didn't really have a lot of hyzer. Oh, and it catches the hill, circles edge. That's a tough putt. He was really fortunate. That's going to be tough footing. Really going to come down to what Blair does. Okay, yourself throwing over the OB on the right to Heiser back in. Just looking for one more birdie. Finish off the day. Little bit early left, but it's still in the circle. It's putting. On the green. Can't complain. All right, Blyer. Champion ape. Let's see what you got. Basically... For the tournament. Complete huge pressure situation. S big bomb hyzer. And he puts it to about six meters. I think he did it. Yeah, with the pressure, this could be a miss. We watched him miss it already from this distance. Not too often. Not too often. But I will say when the pressure comes on, it's much easier to slip. And just make a really, really basic error. Especially if Stan hits the putt and puts the pressure on. Let's see. Couldn't be more important. Cash! Right Big time. on the pole. That's awesome disc golf. How much more pressure you want? <laughs> Three rounds and a final nine. Ooh. One putt left. Low left side. He'll take it. That's the win. It was enough. Congratulations, Blyer. Nice Blair. 2021 Open Belgian Open champion. I'm looking to finish out with the bird. For I'll third take place. It, and I will take that to tie Maxime Tong for third place. Maxime had a great final nine. Caught me on the back end. Nice dudes. Roman will finish with the bogey plus three. Probably wish he had a little bit better, but hey, it was great to play with you guys. Awesome final nine. Happy to see it. Happy to have all the spectators. Thank you all for watching. That was cool to see you on coverage. Well played, my man. Interesting commentating on myself. Hard to keep it objective. Thanks again, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're coming back at you with some more disc golf coverage. Pharaoh Farnsworth. Yeah. Thank you.